Hello everyone, this is Jose from City of Cars today. I just wanted to do a walk around video for you guys on our 2022 Toyota GR86. Uh, extremely fun and quick little nimble car. Uh, but the main focus of the video is just to kind of point out any imperfections that I may see on the vehicle. Obviously, if you didn't have the opportunity to come see it in person, this video is designed to kind of help you understand the condition of the vehicle um, a little bit better. Uh, overall, the car does look extremely clean, not really seeing any major dents or scuffs or scratches anywhere along the vehicle. Um, but with that being said, it is a used car. So first and foremost, just kind of want to point out, you know, some little imperfections on the front end. If you can kind of see closely there, you do get a couple little highway rock ships and nicks that have occurred on the vehicle body throughout its time on the road but nothing that would dramatically stand out. And again, you're gonna kind of really zoom in on it to kind of take a peek. If we stand back, they kind of just blend in. Um, let's go ahead and take a peek inside the interior of the vehicle. Uh, it does come with two sets of keys. Open it up. Definitely a nice little cabin. Definitely a very sporty feel. Nice bucket seat with nice bolsters to kind of keep you in place. Let's go ahead and step inside and turn on the vehicle. Definitely a nice little interior. Uh, it does come with a couple little options as far as your driving mode, including track, which is kind of cool. If we actually hit that button, it's going to change up a little bit of the dynamics of the vehicle. There we go. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. You just had to hold it down. You can see it actually changes the tachometer uh, as far as like the image, which is kind of cool. Uh, coming in here into the infotainment system, it is all touchscreen. As you can see, you got a couple little apps, including Apple um, CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, one little thing, this car is previous Canadian. So even though everything is in miles per hour right now, if you do look at the temperature, it is going to display the dual climate control in Celsius. So I just wanted to obviously point that out. Um, nice little start stop button. Seats again, all appear to be in really good condition. You got a couple of cup holders right here towards the end with an aux cord and a couple USB drives, which have like nice little protectors in them to kind of keep the dust out, but they are definitely there. And if you just get a little cover there to kind of cover it up, look at inside the glove box, nice ample space. Uh, it is installed with all weather floor mats right now, which is kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and you do have a pop the trunk button as well as the hood so let's go ahead and pop that and take a peek under the hood taking a peek inside definitely everything looks very clean obviously as the mileage would reflect i believe it's got right about thirteen thousand miles on it currently so pretty much a brand new used car Shut the hood there and let's take a peek at the trunk space over pop this up you do get a little button right here for a quick uh quick release there but not actually a bad amount of room considering the type of vehicle it is and you lift up here you got additional storage space as well as your tools uh and if you do live in a state where you require a front uh, license plate it does have your bracket already built in pretty cool stuff nice little emergency release handle in case you get trapped in there Go ahead and look at the underbody. We'll kind of uh, hunker down a bit. As you can see, pretty clean all over now. Uh, rims all look in pretty decent shape. Not seen any major curb rash, but I do see a little bit right here. So obviously I do want to point that out. Uh, looks like your, side, uh, your tires are some Michelin tires. Uh, let's see what kind of tire they are. Maybe a, we can look around on the other side here. 
So primary HPs. And looking at this room here, that actually looks in pretty good shape. Look at the final two, just to make sure everything's up to par. Got a little, tiny little scuff right there. But other than that, it looks pretty clean. And last but not least, let's go ahead and take a peek at the passenger rear. All looks in good shape. Not really seeing any car crash. So that all looks pretty decent. Let's kind of do one last kind of walk around. But overall, car's in excellent condition. Really, really fun car. Uh, please let us know if you have any additional questions or if you'd like us to emphasize anything else on the, on the video. But other than that, I hope this helps out and you guys have a wonderful day.